When you have an off-grid property, one of the first things you want to do, of course, is uh, figure out a hot shower because it's uh, essential to keep clean, keep tidy, especially in tick season. It's kind of one of the things that I look forward to and also dread every year uh, setting this up because it's usually a hassle. It's, I mean, it's a very simple system, but it's there's always a problem. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that uh, this time goes easy. That's right, sucker. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It's two days later and it didn't go easy. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. Hey buddy. No, oh, we're staying out. Staying out. I'm gonna get our water hooked up. I've uh, already started here and then I thought, whoa, I'll show you what I'm uh, doing here. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple. I use a uh, flow jet and there's my water filter here. rain barrel which I just um, replaced the uh, the spigot so hopefully that's gonna work and uh, then over here so I got my solar panels here that help charge things up um, I'm not using this at the moment I'm gonna move this down to the garden uh, but right behind here I got the ego temp hot water on demand so I'm just in the process of uh, hooking up the hoses here and the connections, and then we'll uh, give it a go. I'm going to, um, this is filled with uh, rainwater right now, which is fine, but um, I'll likely uh, give the system a rinse through and then uh, fill it up with some, uh, some creek water, pump that up from the, uh, from the creek. So let's get this uh, hooked up here. Pretty, uh, pretty easy. The uh, big thing is you want to make sure that you're uh, filtering all the time. I do use rainwater, like I said, I was mentioning the creek water, but uh, even with the rainwater, I just I have sort of several layers of filtration. So this keeps the big debris out. And uh, when it comes down here, I was using this um, was a first wash rain diverter. I don't use that anymore just because we usually don't get rain, enough rain up here. If anything, we're dealing uh, more and more with uh, drought. Um, so I don't want to waste any water. And this is a, um, pretty simple filter, but an important one. You want to uh, really keep things out of your, uh, keep the debris out of your uh, pump. Uh, so it goes in here and then cir uh, circles around. There's a filter inside. You can drain the filter in the winter time or whenever you need to right here. And then it just continues on to the uh, pump. Don't mind the duct tape, but do what you gotta do. Uh, and then from this side, again, that just goes uh, basically right to the uh, hot water on demand tank. All right, to show you this last uh, component here, the uh, pump here is uh, powered by a battery. Battery is uh, yeah, just tucked under there. Here I've just got my uh, charge controller and uh, inverter. And uh, just making sure that I'm, you know, I think I've got some power here. I hooked up a, um, a kill switch up here a couple of years ago. Okay, so that's working. So let me just check my connections here. Open things up. And hopefully we got a little bit of water action here. <laughs> you thought that was a snake, didn't you? Hey, got you off guard. Okay, so I will uh, tidy things up. Um, I still am still into spring cleaning, so I got to blow all these uh, leaves out of here. Kaya, it's a, it's literally, it's the hose that I just put there. Big nupper. She thinks it's a black rat snake. Okay, let's give this a go. And 
theoretically what's going to happen is uh, this is going to pressurize so we should start seeing some water come through the pump here and then it'll make its way through the hose to the uh, to the hot water on demand and because that is not open right now it won't uh, it should shut off actually I better check that and make sure it is <laughs> Okay, oh well, it did have it on here. So let's move that to the off position and uh, go try that again. All right, not gonna lie to you. I hooked them up backwards. I hooked the outlets up backwards. I went in, to out, out, in, yeah, blah, blah. So this is two days later. Nothing went as planned. <laughs> Starting. I guess it was it was almost foreboding that I hooked this up in the uh, in the wrong uh, uh, wrong direction here, but we do have it all going. I had to find pieces. I I'm going to show you in a second my big mess, but basically I had to find all the right couplers. I had hoses that weren't working. I had spigots that were cracked. Um, nothing <laughs> nothing worked well. However, it's working moderately well. Look at all these hoses that I uh, piece of hose. Um, I had every hose available to me. I was going through connections. This is all taken apart now. I, this this is not being used. Um, but, 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 it is working. Hey buddy, got your safety vest on? Guarding all the tools? Look at this mess. This, this is... This is what I've spent my last two days doing, just connecting stuff, hooking stuff up. This is my third shower head <laughs> that I'm on. Um, yeah, nothing is ever as simple as it seems to be. So this is the uh, inside side of the shower. This is a like a shower room slash uh, tool room slash... And just to recap from mayhem of the first video, from the water tank, rain barrel couple of inline filters inside the hose itself to uh, keep debris out, but then it hits the main filter. From the main filter goes to my flow jet. From the flow jet follows one of these hose, hoses back to the hot water on demand eco temp, which is powered by propane for two days of yakking and trying all kinds of different stuff. Goodness. This is a um, pump that automatically shuts off once the pressure is reached. And I've got a little, um, this is really the problem. I, I will fix this. I'll get a better uh, uh, stopper. Sorry, I can't even think right now. I'm uh, just so tired of connecting all this stuff. Anyways. Turn this on. It takes a minute for it to pressurize. And see, one thing is still simple. It doesn't work perfectly. I'm just gonna stop it for a second, just let that pressure build up. There we go. Now it's uh, nice hot water. Got it right at the perfect temp so it's not gonna burn yet. Boom. So there's our shower, off-grid shower. 